Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nays Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be one where you don't see my face, sadly, but um, it's going to be a kind of tips video on how to add paper to your Bible. I posted videos and um, pictures of paper that I added in this Bible, which is my New King James Journaling Bible. Um, it's the Journal of the Word Bible that I got from Thomas Nelson. And this is where I study um, my Word of God. And a lot of you guys asked me to make a video on it. Now, this is not an idea that I made on my own. I actually got this idea from Jason Mayfield over at Grace for Life TV. Definitely will leave a link down below to his channel. Or you can actually click the eye on the screen. It should be up there. But um, I love his videos. His videos are awesome. And when I saw that video, I knew I needed to do it. Now, the reason would be why, right? So I studied the book of Ephesians back in February. If I can flip to it. So... February, I studied the book of Ephesians, and it took me four days to study it because I was just so engrossed. And you guys can see all the notes that I took, and I had three sticky notes, right? But then I started going sticky note crazy, as you can see. This one had about, I don't even know, four, five, six sticky notes. Three over here. Then I was adding paper to write on the back because I was just running out of space. And, um... Here's the back of that. This was a prayer. Oh, no, was this a prayer? They're both a prayer. Um, but I finished it on February 8th, so it took me four days to study this. And I knew that I needed to... Um, oh, can't see that. <laughs> I knew that I needed to add paper in my Bible because I was getting a lot. So I'm currently studying the Gospel of Mark. I wanted to get through all the Gospels. And a lovely, lovely handwriting from my child, right? Right. <laughs> so I was still using little paper like notepad paper and sticky notes to do my notes but I knew that I was going to get a lot out of the gospel of Mark the gospels tend to I pull out a lot so I had two sticky notes over here and then my notes were all over the place and I was already using this paper um so I added the paper in my bible and it made it so much so much of a difference for me to put my notes um so I'm still on chapter two I need to get through it but still on chapter two I'm not sure why my lighting just completely dimmed down let me fix the lighting real quick. Sorry about all the shaking, you guys. Lighting got crazy. But um, pretty much I added paper throughout. Just some of it. And uh, the paper is in there. Like, it's not coming out at all like it's it's in there <laughs> so i didn't add it throughout all of the pages but i did through some and um even if i don't use all like if i don't have a lot of notes instead of sticking all the sticky notes over top of the word in my notes i can always just put the sticky notes on the paper and be done with it you know like I, i'll be able to still read my notes so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that today so all you're gonna need is a bible so I'm going to be showing you guys in this Bible, which is a Bible I'm going to be using to do the John Bible study with you guys. So this is the ESV single column journaling Bible in the black from Crossway. See here. So that's that. You're going to need something to make the paper stick. So I'm going to be using some Elmer's glue stick, just washable glue. Nothing serious. I'm going to use that. I have a pen just in case I need to mark up the paper. You're going to need paper itself. So I have this paper here. And um, I have a lot of these like oversized large notebooks. Kind of like the Mead ones. Where they um, allow you to take out the paper. So I basically have been taking paper out of it to use in there. And you're going to need something to cut. Either some scissors. I do have a paper trimmer um, that I got from Walmart. This is the Westcott one. It's a real you know, easy, simple one, but you can use one of those really expensive ones if you want. Or you can go old school and just use some scissors, but I find the paper trimmer makes everything easier. So, I'm going to be doing this in the Gospel of John because that's the, the, the book that we're going to be studying and I'm going to need a lot of notes space for that. So, Flipping it to the back, I'm going to go straight to the Gospel of John. So we're here, right? 
So what you're going to do first is, um, let me move the ribbon out the page. You're going to get a page, just one page, and, um, you know, stick it right inside the spine. And you're just going to mark it off. So I already know for a fact that I don't want it too big, but I want it small enough that I can easily flip the page on its own rather than flipping it like one of these pages. So I'm going to mark it off on this line here and also on this line here. And then we're going to cut here and here. Okay. So I have it marked where I want to cut it off at. So now what I'm going to do is because I like to do this in one go, I'm going to put them all together and I think I had a paper clip I do okay this is like the easy way to do it when you don't want to spend 30 hours doing the same thing <laughs> so I'm just going to go like this and paper clip it on this side because this side will not get cut yet at least so it paper clipped taking my paper trimmer I don't know if you guys can even see it all the way, but um, I'm going to now trim it on that line that I marked here. So I'm going to make sure it's lined up correctly and cut. It doesn't have to be perfect either, like at all. I'm doing the same thing on this side. Just line it up and cut. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cut that line. Um, but I'm going to move over just a bit more. So I have it lined up correctly where it needs to be. But I'm just going to move it over just a little more so that I'm not cutting directly on that line. Just so that it still gonna fit so what I mean is if you guys can see it the line was here I moved it over a bit and it's not gonna be even as you guys can see it doesn't have to be it's just paper so that's what I have right so now what you're gonna do is move that over grab your Bible And taking one of the sheets, right here I have, I don't even know how many sheets, one, two, I have three sheets here. So I'm only going to do three for you guys on camera, but I have three sheets here. And you're just going to stick it in right there. And then you can see what I mean, where it's not going to overlap. So I can always just flip this page on its own because I can get to the actual scripture around the edges. So with this extra spot here, you're going to fold it in half. So we're just going to fold. And it doesn't have to be a perfect fold, like, at all. You're just folding it um, as best as you can. But you want that part folded because that's where you're going to stick the glue. Okay. Just fold it. And this is what you're going to have right here. Okay? That's what you got. So now when you actually stick it in on the folded edge, it's even more space now for you to get to, to flip this note page. So with that being folded, you're going to use your glue stick or your tape. I'm just using glue stick because it's easier to reposition it while it's still wet. So... I'm sticking an extra piece under here just so that I don't have glue all over the place, but glue stick. Like I said, this is the Elmer's glue stick and you're not in frame. Eh. Okay, there we go. So I just have these pages here to prevent glue from getting on the actual paper itself. Um, so just taking glue, I'm going to go across the page that I folded. 
and it doesn't have to be like perfect just make sure it's definitely on this edge part because you don't want this page to move so just putting glue all over like that and I'm going to move this part here now I have this ruler that comes from blue sky one of my old planners and I use this so that I can actually push it in side so you want to be careful and not get the glue all over so you want to hold your Bible so that you can really line it up in there so I'm just gonna push this paper down just a bit and get it where you want it to be I'm gonna use this ruler just to push it down so it's not stuck before I get it where I want it and then push it in make sure it's in the actual spine right make sure it's in the spine and start to uh, push the paper up so you guys I don't know if, it's, if you're gonna be able to see this but you guys can see how it's like down here and up here so I'm just using that for that All right going again with this side I'm pushing it in further pushing it down and what I'm gonna do is keep pushing it till I know it's secure Fold the page over and just keep making sure that it's secure now you can close your Bible and push down if you want I don't find the need to do that but you can if you want and um, there's your page I mean it's really that simple you have your page so you can write your notes here for chapter one and you're able to turn this page by itself it's not gonna come out you can see it is glued down here but you can still write notes over it if you need to and it's not like you're gonna be turning both the actual scripture and the Bible and the page of notes together because you can easily flip that read your notes and then flip the page so I'm gonna do it again two more times so again just fold the corner that has like more paint more space on it and um, it doesn't have to be perfect it really doesn't it's not about perfection it's just about having space to put your notes really so I have that folded and one more time now, if you want to be, like, correct with your measurements, you can be correct with your measurements. I don't mind how my measurements are because it's literally just to write my notes or stick sticky notes on. So, there you go. The other two pages. Going to slap on some glue. And I would say do this in like bulk like do a bunch of pages at least five or six pages and insert them in your bible that way you don't always have to keep doing it every time you get to a new page do like a week's worth so that you're good and again focus it on the edge so that this part can actually stay down okay You can do the glue all at once on everything and then stick it, but I like to do one page at a time so that the glue doesn't fully dry through. So again, fix your page um, and try to line it up as best as you can without getting glue everywhere. So I like to have it centered so that I have a good amount of equal space around. If you don't have a ruler, you can just use a debit card, credit card, whatever. But again, just focus it because you want it in that center portion. Push it in without making a mess again. And you'll know once it's in because you'll see the crease. And then push it before the glue dries. Use your hand if you want to reinforce that. 
in. It doesn't have to be all the way in, but you know. Go on the other side and push to reinforce it again. Flipping the page. I'm gonna do this side now. And again, definitely check out Jason Mayfield's video. Um, he also has a video on how to add more ribbons to your Bible. And my laptop is about to die on me. We don't want that. Plug my laptop in. There we go. And um, add your glue. And again, make sure you're focusing on the edge so that it actually stays and doesn't move now sometimes you will get the glue on the back of the page you guys can see but that's okay and again you want to place it down stick it so that you know it's going to be an even amount of space around so that you can quickly flip it this is when i take the ruler and um Push up. Okay. Now again, you can close your Bible if you want. Let me... Just put my bookmark back and push down if need be but now when I open up John I'll have paper and again it's quick for me just to flip this page on its own because I have that gap in between so I can do it from the top do it from the side or do it from the bottom so now I have paper in between chapters 1 and 2 I can turn that page then you go to chapter three with paper. I can flip again that page of notes on its own. You have chapter four, flip the scripture. Chapter five, you have a notes page. Turn that in the rest of chapter five. Now again, like I had glue on this edge, you wanna make sure you take that glue off <laughs> so that the actual pages don't flip together. And then you can flip the page and then you would continue down the line, obviously. But um, I just have three for now for you guys. But I wanted to show you guys. And it's in there. It's not going to come out. It's not going to fall out unless you obviously, like, snatch it out. But, I mean, with a good tug, it's not going to remove itself. And I'm sure if you use actual um, double-sided sticky tape, like the Scotch brand, it wouldn't even come off at all. But, um... That's pretty much it, how I add paper into my Bible. So I have it ready for John when we study, and I have it now in Mark as I'm studying. And, I mean, you guys can see, the paper makes a huge difference to give you space to write your notes. And it doesn't get in the way of writing either, so... That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video. Again, check out Jason Mayfield's video. Check out his channel in general because he has a lot of like Bible hacks, which I think are great. And I'm debating on adding in the extra uh, ribbons because this one ribbon isn't going to work for me. Um, I've seen his video, but I'm a little nervous to kind of like hack my Bible. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, other than that, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys quickly how to add paper into your Bible. And I hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.